of salvation, and that's through Jesus Christ. But there are many ways, amen, of sin. Sin comes in all shapes, forms, and sizes. Sin is ugly. Sin is pretty. Amen. Sin can be big or sin can be small. Does not matter. Amen. The Bible says what kind of sin it is, or what shape or form it comes in, or how it comes. The Bible says the soul that sin shall die. I don't care if you're a young soul, a middle-aged soul, a teenage soul, or old soul up in age. If you're a senior, the soul that sinned shall surely die. Mm -hmm. Not only that, but grace, amen. In God's unmerited favor, God said, amen, come boldly unto the throne of grace. Thereby you will obtain mercy. You will find grace in time of need. God has given us everything that we need in His Word. He's not coming down with some kind of new doctrine. He's not coming, amen, now, or He's not going to show anybody a new doctrine. He, amen, even warns in the Word that there are going to be prophets popping up here and there and saying, I have a new Word, I have a new doctrine. God said, don't, don't, don't pay no attention to it. What I have given, I have given. And if that's not good enough for you, amen, hallelujah, you shall surely die. Amen. Mm -hmm. God's word is mutable. It does not change. God's word, amen, is infallible. It is not wrong. It is true. Everything about it. God's word does not contradict itself. Sometimes we read the word and it says one thing here and another thing there sounding like contradiction, but no, it's not contradiction. God's word does not contradict itself. God gave the law, amen, for the Hebrews. In the New Testament, he fulfilled the law. He didn't do away with the law. He said, a new commandment I give to you. Uh -huh. If he gave one commandment, why is he giving a new one? Because the one he gave before, amen, it could not justify it could not bring salvation. Why? Because when God gave it, amen, he said, if you don't do it, you'll surely die. You will die if you do not do obey the law. The law was righteous, but the law could not bring salvation. Yes. Amen. Understanding that the law dealt with man through flesh. Amen. Because of our sinful flesh nature, amen, the law could not do but so much. But Jesus fulfilled the law in the New Testament. Amen. He didn't do away with it. And he said, I am, amen, bringing you a new commandment. When he gave a new commandment, he said, amen, this shall supersede the law. Amen. Because it is righteous. It will bring salvation. It is by my blood and not by your flesh. Amen. amen. God, amen, brought salvation. And when God brought salvation, it took, amen, the curse of sin. I love it. Curse of sin, I believe, is death. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But the gift of God is righteousness through Jesus Christ, our Lord. And Paul, amen, saying salvation is the divine method of deliverance from sin. And he starts out in Romans chapter 6, verse 1 through 8. And he says, what shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abide? I want to go through and read the whole thing, but uh, the Spirit is telling me that when I read that, what shall we say then, it is a question mark on the then. Amen. If there is a question mark, then that simply means that the sentence right then and there stops. Uh -huh. What shall we say then? Yeah. If the sentence stops right there, mm -hmm. then there is a question being asked. If there is a question being asked, uh -huh. then there must have been a statement made earlier. Yes, so what I want to do is go back up a little farther. Amen. About verse 15. Amen. In the previous chapter, chapter 5, it said, and it says, But now, as the offense, so also is the free gift. For if through the offense of one, many be dead, the offense came 
through one, Adam, amen, Adam sin, and all of us was cursed. It says if the offense came through one, and by one many be dead, much more the grace of God and the gift by grace, which is by one man, Jesus Christ, have abound unto many. So if through grace God died for us, amen, he gave salvation through himself, through his own blood, amen, and took upon himself our curse, the curse of sin, our, amen, unrighteousness, our, amen, debt that, that we owe for sin because sin required a debt to be paid. Look at somebody and say, sin, sin. required that a debt should be paid. But the disobedience of mankind, amen, led him into doing that which was, amen, unlawful in the garden, which caused him to miss the mark, missing the mark, and that simply defines sin, amen, and when man sinned, it cursed all of us, amen, and it had to be some type of ransom pain for us to get back into the presence of God, amen. to walk in righteousness. To walk in justification. Get back to the place where we can walk in sonship. Get back to the place where we can walk uh, in predestination. So a, a sin, uh, a ransom had to be paid. And Jesus paid, amen, the ransom. Hallelujah. Somebody clap their hands and shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. And not as it was by one that sinned, so is the gift. For the judgment was by one to uh, condemnation. But the free gift is of many offenses unto justification. Uh -huh. So that if Jesus died and now we have a free gift, amen, of grace to yeah. come back into the presence of God, amen, according to 2 Corinthians. Uh, no, 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 where is it at? According to, according to, where, where is that at? I just read it. Uh, according to coming back in the, the presence of God, mm -hmm. coming back, I'm all, I, I, I don't want to rush this. Hebrews 4.16, uh -huh. Jesus gave the free gift in, the, oh, in Romans yes. of grace. And in Hebrews 4.16, it says, now you can come boldly yes. unto the throne of grace. Yes. Why? Why? That you may obtain mercy. Why do I need grace and mercy? Grace brings you into mercy because you should have died. But mercy said, I'm going to give you something. Amen. Hallelujah. That you deserve to get, but I'm going to hold it from you. I believe grace, God's unmerited favor, said you didn't deserve it, but I'm going to give it to you anyway. Mercy said, you were supposed to die. This is what you were supposed to get, but God held it back from you. Grace, amen, brings us in to the throne. Mercy, amen, overshadows us. And it said that now you can get grace, amen, in time of need when you leave the throne. Whatever you need, grace is going to follow you wherever you go. Hallelujah. God's unmerited favor is going to go with you wherever you go. If you go to the supermarket, God's grace is going to follow you there. If you go to your home, God's grace is going to follow you there. If you go to your school, God's grace is going to follow you there. Whatever you go, whatever you do, God's grace is going to follow you you that when you go to work, God's grace is going to follow you. God's unmerited favor. You didn't deserve it. God gave it to you anyway. You didn't work for it. God will give it to you anyway. You can't pay that warranty. Hallelujah. Pay that hallelujah. Call it into your life. For I'm going to release it as a free gift to you anyway. And then I want to jump all the way down. Amen. Back in the verse 6. What shall we say then? Say, no, 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 this is 
what you should get. No, he held that back from us. Why? Because Jesus died on the cross. And when Jesus died on the cross and took our sin, he gave us his righteousness. He gave us his justification. So when God looks at you, God looks through the blood and he sees righteousness. He looks through the blood of Jesus and sees justification. Sin, or whether it's a big sin. Jesus 
Jesus shed his blood, he didn't have different degrees of blood. Man. Man. <laughs> I thank you, Holy Ghost. Right now, running in your body, in your bones, there is a soft substance called marrow. In the marrow is where the white and the red corpuscles in your blood is laying. White blood cells and red blood cells. They're produced in the marrow that's in the bone. That's why sometimes when you get cancer, they give you a bone marrow transplant. I can't get no help in that. Because they need new marrow in the bone, amen, to produce healthy white and red blood cells and not cancerous blood cells. In your veins right now is running something called blood. And the blood comes in different types. There is A, I believe there is B. Somebody help me out. There's A, B. I think there's A, B negative, A, B positive. Oh. Amen. All different kinds. Amen. Right in there. Now, when you go for a blood transfusion, you can't take A positive and put it in a B negative person. That's right. Hallelujah. You can't take A, B negative and put it in an O positive person. Amen. You got to have find somebody that's close or have the same amen, blood type that you have. That's why they want, if a blood transfusion is to be made, someone to come out of your family. Amen. And if they can find somebody out of your family, that blood is probably real close to yours. Hallelujah. But when it comes to sin, God didn't, amen, operate in different degrees or different blood types. It was only one type of shot.
sin may abound, shall we continue in sin that it may abound? The Bible says in Romans 6 and 2, God forbid. Look at your neighbor and say, God forbid. God forbid. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer there? How shall we, hallelujah, that are dead to sin live any longer therein? I'm going to take it verse by verse. Because when I was reading, I found out that the Bible said, Mortify mm -hmm. the deeds of the flesh. Hallelujah. The deeds of the body. Mortify. Hallelujah. Crucify the deeds of the body. Crucify. Subdue the deeds of the body. Hallelujah. It means to kill. Kill the deeds of the body. Mm -hmm. You can't kill the body. Because it's so flesh and alive and well. I come to let you know that God can save you from the uttermost to the uttermost. But if you continue to walk in the lust of your flesh, your flesh is alive and well. It'll come back alive too. Hallelujah. Why? Because the flesh has some power. I think you know what I mean. It has the kind of power that'll make you do stuff you never thought you would do. Said this old flesh got enough power. It'll make you go places you thought you never would go. I said this old flesh got enough power. Give me a high five. Mother Rose. I said it's got enough power. It'll make you say things you ought not to say. It's got enough power. If you get stuff you ain't supposed to be looking at, I think it'll help me. I must be stepping on some toes today.
say he's coming about me. He's coming. I see you let that on time. Hallelujah. Stand right there. Which represented a man's sin. And I see Jesus in the Bible. Which represented a man's sin. And they were talking face to face. The only time in the Bible where I see salvation and damnation talking to one another. I can't get my weapon here. The only place in the Bible Crossing the righteousness and unrighteousness Talking to one another The only place I see the life and death Standing face to face That's when Satan took it Jesus on his 40 day fast But Jesus They let him succumb They let him to death And death Then succumb to life The only time Succumb to life. That's when Jesus went into the law parts of heaven drunk. Can you use my sand? He took death. He took the keys of hell. He took the keys of the grave. And he rolled out. And when Jesus rolled, the devil had to go. Yeah. 
But here's what we want to do. Uh, what we want to do what we want to do. Let me get up with this time so y'all can sit in here. Come here, friends. Uh, what we want to do what we want to do. Uh, we want to tell Grace, stay right there. Uh, Grace is commanded by God to follow us. Uh, hallelujah. But you want to tell us to stay Because uh, you want to be what you want to be. Uh, but God commanded Grace to follow you. Uh,
and stare at a person. But the first step you take away from um, the care and the umbrella of God for his kingdom. It's just a matter of time until it manifests itself. That's why some of y'all still walking in habits and you ain't got no symptoms yet. Keep on doing those habits. The symptoms don't manifest itself after a while. This is a warning from God. Look at somebody and say, be clear and understand. This is a warning from God.
But in my footnotes, D, uh, D E E S S says, put to death. It means mortify means to be dead. Hallelujah. It means to put to death, kill, cause to put to death, and become dead. In the end, it says five things to put to death. Put to death, kill, prepare to kill, get ready to kill, do what it takes, amen, for it to die out of your life. This is what can I, can I talk to you? It says prepare yourself. Put position yourself. Because it's going to come knocking again. And if you prepare yourself, amen, uh, on the side of the night, that's when it comes knocking on the side of the night. Uh, especially right after I get my check. Amen. And I've got some money to go get some drink. Monday through Friday, I'm dry, I'm good. But Saturday come, I get my money in the mail, I can go get some drink, and the boy, I can buy for the boy, we can have a good time. Prepare to kill this. Come here, brother. Come here, brother. Come here, you. Yeah, come here. Prepare to kill yourself. You know all the week you find, fine. You're, and you're probably being by yourself. But when the weekend come, get with somebody that's stronger than you. that you can shake hands with and he said I'll be there and I'll be with you amen and I won't leave you during a Saturday night time it come not because if you let somebody that's stronger than you when you get a little weak he'll put his hand on your shoulder and put your hand and say don't do it don't do it you can do it say tell me I can make it
Amen. 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 Ain't nobody making you go stick that needle in your face. Ain't nobody making you snort that up your nose. Amen. Nothing but like her mother was preaching on Sunday, a monkey on your back. That's why you have to get somebody that is stronger than you. Yes, so do it. I can't so do it by myself. So I need some help. So do it. The situation that I'm in. <clears throat> my voice is about to go out. But I declare I've got some more stuff to teach. And I'll teach it this afternoon. Hallelujah. Come back this afternoon. Oh, we got something out of the word today. 